Oh, Wait, I still haven't really made an actual guess. I don't fucking trial. know. Trial. All rise. Begin with a Who did I call? explanation of the class trial. So, your votes will determine the results. I wonder. If you can figure out who done it, then it's only probably the you fucking will receive bitch ass. But bitch if ass, bitch ass, ass, I hate one. love. Oh, Yakia? Then I will punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. And the killer really is one of us, right? Of course. Okay then. Everyone, close your eyes. And whoever did it, raise your hand. What the fuck is that image on the left of him doing? Hello? <laughs> 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 it's like zooming. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell would they raise their hand? <laughs> Before we move on and start the trial, can I ask a question real quick? What's going on with those pictures? I'd feel awful if they got left out just because they died. Friendship what penetrates even death's barrier. The president. Friendship penetrates. Bruh! Shut up for me! What about that oh. other deceit? There were only 15 of us to begin with, so why are there 16 seats? Shh. Oh, no reason! It's just that our little courtroom here can technically fit up to 16 people! Shh. Okay! That about does it for the preamble! That's, uh, you the can just give us that fucking started. detail, what are you talking about? Yeah! <laughs> First up is the case summary! Now, let the class trial begin! I'm ready for the deep hurting. <laughs> it's about to begin. The debate to decide who we think the killer is. Anything I found, anything I noticed, I have to be ready to speak up about everything. Because this isn't just about me. Everyone's lives are on the line. Your first non-stop debate is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Nah, I know. I, okay. I don't- I wanna know, what the fuck? Uh, basically, they're- they're gonna start talking and you have to, like, find a- find a breakthrough in their argument. Using a truth I'm bullet. Sure. I assert that the one who was murdered was Miss Sonic uh, Go crazy, go stupid! Uh. I nailed that part already. And the murder took place in Makoto's room. It's fucking you, isn't it? So Big Bazaga, holy shit. That. The killer must have taken her by surprise while she was in the bathroom. She didn't even have a chance to resist. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. No, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just a second, Chihiro. Try to remember how my room looked. With the way things had been damaged, I think we can definitely assume there was a struggle. A struggle? Between who and who? That, that doesn't and fucking. Who what do you mean? Who? You know, one of them. The other one's the whole fucking point. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Just the killer's just gonna tell us I that immediately. Was by surprise in the bathroom? She must have been attacked in the main room first. Then she ran to the bathroom to try and hide. The killer followed her in, and that's where they finished the job. That much should have been obvious after taking one look at the scene. It shouldn't even need explaining. Sorry. Okay, so what's next? Next is the subject of the murder weapon. Wow. This is starting wow. to like a real trial. It is. <laughs> we need to determine what would be. We need to determine what was used to kill Sayaka. Um, a fucking knife. What are you talking about? <laughs> a kitchen knife. It was in her. So what was used to kill her? The fucking kitchen kind of knife. Object thrust into her stomach. There was, oh, was some it kind of sharp object. <laughs> so the killer so, used some he, he doesn't fucking know the name of a knife. He doesn't know knife. Let me scream at stupid people because I could not scream at stupid people at my job. <laughs> oh, then you'll have fun here. <laughs> what? What does that mean? <laughs> there are a lot of dumb moments. Chapter <laughs> four. Timbos and horrors. After the murder, we discovered that one of the knives from the kitchen was missing. Uh, we're, we're not sad this yet. 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 
Yet. That knife Yet. must be the murder weapon. <laughs> Chapter two and three oh, are yeah. I guess that makes sense. You could sort of see the weapon sticking out of her stomach. <laughs> and if you look real close, I could totally see that being a kitchen knife. Oh, yeah, real close. So the uh -huh. it was a kitchen knife. But where does that get us? <laughs> I mean, we all know Makoto killed her, right? Right. <laughs> right. Makoto's room was the scene of the crime. What more proof do you need? Hold um, on. a lot more. Are you kidding me? Let's draw our conclusions after we've presented our arguments. Otherwise, what's the point of the trial? The detective well, We can talk all we want. It's not going to change that conclusion. I don't think that's true at all. I'm sure if we keep at it, something new. Why is will everyone be so honest. quiet? Do you really believe that? What? <laughs> you already know what happens. <laughs> I know, but we're leaving it quiet for you so you can hear them. She's right. Okay. There's got to be a breakthrough somewhere just waiting for us to find it. Because I know damn well I'm not the killer. There's a bit more to learn about nonstop debates. Would you like to hear more? No. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. This is like seasickness the game. But where does that get us? Bam 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 yeah, I didn't do it. Okay, wait. Hold on. I didn't take the knife from the kitchen. I took it from somewhere else and I Next killed her with it. I'm gonna say you're not the killer, right? Go ahead and say it all you, you want. Well, what if I have a witness? What do you think, Hina? Huh? Remember what you were telling me earlier? Well, I went to go get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back to the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. Yeah. Just to be perfectly clear, the knife disappeared while you were in the dining hall, correct? Y yeah that's right and at any point while you were there did you ever see me come into the dining hall um no i don't think so you don't think so no he definitely wasn't there the knife disappeared while hina was in the dining hall but i wasn't there the entire time in other words there's no way i can oh go crazy go stupid uh, you are. then what about this what if the idiot swimmer girl and Makoto are in on it together and lying to protect each other? You bitch. idiot swimmer girl! Oh, and more importantly, why would I get involved in Oh, go crazy, go stupid! To ask the bear, if there is an accomplice, do they also become blackened? So you ask, and so I show what, what, answer. This is gonna ask. It's fucking dick. Each murder so is hot, allowed to have an accomplice, but only the one who does the killing will get to graduate. So, in other words, two people can work together, but one of them has no chance of profiting from it. Then there's no way anyone would work together, right? But what if they did work together, and they just didn't know about the rule? Ugh, good grief! Enough already! No, okay? There are no accomplices in this case! Oops, did I say that out loud? Anyway, I didn't go to the dining hall, and I didn't take the knife. So I'm not the killer! Okay, so then, who did take the knife? Who did? <laughs> this is so dumb! Candidate. After all, she just said she was in the dining hall. No, no way! I swear it wasn't me! Oh, can you or anyone else prove that? I can. That's right. Sakura was with me the entire time I was drinking my tea. Uh, I hate to have to ask, but just to be sure, Sakura's... Me. Right. But then, couldn't either one of them have grabbed the knife? Actually, no. Because, um... 
Well, just were they fucking already? I stayed in here. They, they, <laughs> they were fucking. Oh wait, wait, shit! So they did things to this. Um, <laughs> I get that. Welcome to lesbians. After to stay over. Are they? Are they lesbians? We have airtight <laughs> alibis. Like, like it's never explicitly stated, but oh, it, they're so gay for each other. In your room last night. <laughs> you stayed over. Doesn't that violate one of the? No, you just care. You gotta sleep in a dorm. Yeah. yeah. We're not allowed to sleep anywhere but the dorms, but it doesn't say we have to stay in our. <laughs> You're saying we could have been fucking this entire time? <laughs> that's a problem. It is a problem. A boy and a girl spending the night together? That's a girl. Unwholesome. <laughs> God damn it! I'm a girl. Come no, on. shut the fuck up. You are? Oh shit. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Thank god. Oh, Taco was literally- Then you can fuck. Then you can fuck. It's yeah, fine. Taco was literally like, straight couple? You No, but then lesbians? He's like, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, great. That's <laughs> every like, man. No, it's just like, two men? Ew, no. A <laughs> straight couple, but- Oh, lesbians? Ooh, that's hot. Never mind. <laughs> Keep going. But if it wasn't either of you, then what other possibility is there? Actually, um, any other- is one other possibility. Right, Hina? Oh, yeah, that's true. One other person did come to the dining hall while we were there. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Look at that. Well, because hey, boy. They're not here anymore. Someone who's not here? Are you talking about... Sayaka. She's the one who came to the dining hall. And then later, she wound up dead. Sayaka? Okay, so the person who took the knife from the kitchen was. I got it! I got it! Then. Sayaka is the one who took the knife? That's the only possibility. And thinking back on it, she was acting kind of unusual. When she kind came into sucked. the dining hall, she didn't even look at us. She just went straight to the kitchen. As she left, she said she just wanted a drink of water. But most likely... And the person who took the knife was the victim herself. I'm sure... I'm sure she just took it for oh, self-defense. Oh, she killed herself. So you're saying the knife she took no. was then taken from her and she was killed with it? In that case, you may not have taken the knife, but you still could have killed her. What? He did do it after all! No, you're wrong! So, that's how you would twist the argument and send us all off in the wrong direction? Hmm. You possess a most terrifying talent. Damn, if I don't do something, they're gonna blame me for the murder! Don't they understand? If they convict me, everyone's gonna die! Hold no, on, very it's stupid. still too early to say <laughs> conclusively that Makoto is the killer, wouldn't you say? Because you see, if the room did belong to the killer, then they did something most bewildering. <laughs> and hmm? until we unravel that little mystery, you simply can't declare that he's the killer. <laughs> he's the killer. Bewildering? What the hell bewildering? Something was missing. What's that word? I've never heard that word in my life. life. <laughs> you think I read the dictionary? You think I read? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Your first hangman's gambit is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? No. Is a bitches. But what? <laughs> Something that should have been at the scene but wasn't. That must be a crucial point. If we can just figure out what that something is. <laughs> Okay. Fuck it. Yeah. The oh, one that doesn't work. Going... Whoa. This is the most anime shit I've ever seen. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I understand. No, I understand. It's all coming together. That's right. There wasn't a single hair on the floor. Yeah, what the I fuck was up with that? The culprit removed some evidence? Yes. And if I were the culprit, why would I need to get rid of all the hair in my own room? It wouldn't to be throw people off? at all to find my hair at the crime scene if the crime scene is in my room. The reason all the hair was gone was to remove any trace that 
Sayaka had ever been there. Objection. That makes Your sense, does it not? <laughs> we need any evidence that Sayaka had ever been there. They Fucking had to do something about the body. Yeah, itself. like she's just in the bathroom with all that shit fucked up everywhere. Are you I kidding me? You, you can't I mean, remove yes, the just a body and here. there's a fucking scratches everywhere. The table's <laughs> on the like flipped over. Mm, let me just remove all the hair. That'll keep you good. Very true. Hmm, very then true. Why wasn't there any hair on the ground? The killer got rid of it all, of course, to remove any trace that they had ever been there. Wait, then that means... Precisely. It's simply beyond reason to believe that the room's owner and the killer are one and the same. Then... What? Makoto isn't the culprit? Are you sure we can decide something so important based solely on the absence uh, of the air? Stupid. No. <laughs> there are other reasons that prove why Makoto couldn't have done it. I would like to hear these reasons. Do you remember anything remarkable about the bathroom at the scene? Sayaka was attacked in the main room first, then fled into the bathroom, right? Yeah. Then they ran after her, got into the bathroom, and stabbed her. And how did the killer get into the bathroom? Did they have any trouble with it? What do you mean? It's fairly certain that the killer had some trouble getting into the bathroom. There was clear evidence left behind. Do oh, I just remember remembered when I was like, oh, the door not working properly. That might be plot later. Ooh. Yeah, and it is. It's plot. <laughs> the killer struggled getting into the bathroom. And the evidence yeah, that proves it is... The object the killer broke. Wait, what the <laughs> evidence that the killer had trouble getting into the bathroom you're talking about the doorknob right huh the doorknob what doorknob the doorknob for my bathroom it was completely broken see how the top part was unscrewed and the doorknob's about ready to fall off oh yeah true but what does it mean in trying to bypass the lock they ended up nearly removing the entire doorknob. This is another most bewildering act for the room's Please owner. Shut up. It proves Makoto is beyond suspicion. I was trying to think of so a joke what? there, that's You're all I had. You're saying he break the door in his own room? But if the only choice you have is to break it, you break it. There's nothing bewildering about it. You still don't- You're pretty bewildered. Okay, then. <laughs> Let's take another look at how uh, the no, incident unfolded. Hopefully that will help <laughs> you understand. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Yoko said it was a bewildering act. I almost didn't notice it at first, but is that the key point here? There's a bit more to learn about non-stop to me. Would you like to hear more? No. I want to know more. <laughs> There's a chunky boy just like hanging out up by the thing upside down. What are you doing? Hi, little man. What are you doing? That took place in Makoto's room. Sayaka was first attacked in the main room. She then fled into the bathroom. Then the killer ran after her. And they got into the bathroom. At that point, the killer had to try and bust down the door. Because Sayaka had locked it. No, that's wrong. No, that's wrong. <laughs> The reason my bathroom didn't open wasn't because it was locked. After all, the girls' rooms are the only ones with locking bathrooms, right? That seems like a weird fucking detail. Now that you mention it. That is true. Then why didn't your bathroom door open? Because it was stuck. Because I'm a girl. <laughs> what are you talking about? My bathroom door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. Monokuma over there can testify. To that. I don't think he's gonna fucking testify. Oh shit. <laughs> he's fucking involved in this? You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, is. right? But to have such a cruddy door. <laughs> Why is he the ultimate lucky student? Uh, he's the ultimate lucky student because he got picked from a lottery um, oh. to be to join the school. Well, great fucking lottery. <laughs> So the reason the door didn't open was just because it was stuck. But the killer didn't know that and assumed it was locked. So they tore apart the doorknob to get in. Okay, but then why would the killer even think the door was locked in the first place? 
Everyone should have known you can't lock any of the boys' bathrooms. The killer could easily make that mistake, thanks to one important detail about the scene they of the crime. The, they changed the, the thing. Yep. The killer was convinced the bathroom door was locked, so they didn't know that the door actually couldn't be locked. In other words, the important detail about the scene of the crime that they didn't know was... I'm just going to place in my room. I got it! I got it! The killer must not have realized that it was my room. Yep. What? Are you saying the culprit didn't even know where he was? That's inconceivable! And yet, he's absolutely right. Say what? Well, to be more specific, what the killer didn't know was that Makoto and Sayaka had switched rooms, which is what led to the misunderstanding about the bathroom. If Sayaka had been in her own room, then... Then there would have been a lock on the door, and they would have had to break through! So they had no idea how unnecessary their actions were. Ultimately, we can't know if it came open by force or simply by accident. But the killer must have been considerably confused, with no idea how they actually got the door opened. Regardless, it was a pointless act. Wasting time trying to break down a door that wasn't locked is... It's probably you. You probably killed him because he's like the main Since dude. I don't want it to be Leon. And he's the other open. dude I don't remember calling right. on. <laughs> that is a definite possibility. So the killer would have to be someone who didn't like know they'd switched rooms? Like then Makoto couldn't have done it. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Okay, then who did do it? I'm sorry, but I give up. Quit without saving. But Bruh. what happens if we can't <laughs> decide on who we think did it? Well, why don't we just vote right now? Majority. No. <laughs> that's fucking. You really think that's a good idea? Yeah, our necks are on the line here. Someone seriously needs to do something. For serious. Does no one have any vote. other thoughts or Your questions? It does not matter how trivial I mean, technically seem. it is a democratic vote. <laughs> it is a majority oh, win situation. As a matter of fact, I do have one question. Oh, you. You don't Bruh, sound so bitch. disappointed. It's fine, it's fine. Just ask your question. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, um, well, I was just wondering, how did the culprit get into Makoto's room in the first place? Yes, how did the killer get inside? Maybe Sayaka just dropped the key somewhere and the culprit picked it up. That's possible, right? I don't think so. That seems way too convenient. Then... Maybe someone picked the lock? Negative! If you remember, Monokuma made it quite clear that the locks are all unpickable. Fine. How about this? The killer got in the easy way. They could have knocked and said they wanted to talk or something, and Miss Maizono just let him in. No, that can't be it either. Oh, trying to argue against me? Sounds like someone doesn't know his place. Hello? Why exactly can't that be it? Because she asked me to do something in particular. Because of how frightened she it's was. A, uh, I know what it is. It's That's the, the answer right there. Wasn't, she, he, she wasn't even going to open the door for him. There's no way Sayaka let someone in because... Oops. There. <laughs> I got it! Because Sayaka was already scared, remember? That's why she asked me to switch rooms in the first place. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Shoot, sure, TJ's not here. Guys, oh. guys, 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 guys. Okay. Yeah? She's in my shoes. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. She's wearing my shoe. Oh. What are you doing? Do you like the shoe? <laughs> little weird. What are you doing? She loves feet and shoes. She has foot fetish. <laughs> you laugh, but it's true. The cat. She's wearing a shoe. You're wearing a shoe. Good night. I love you. 
I kissed my cat. I'm I'm so cool. <laughs> Alpine, would you like to cover for uh, Sayaka? Sure, I can cover for. Yeah, I can cover this. Alrighty. Even I'm sure it's you. I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Knowing what she's been through, I just can't believe she would have opened the door for anyone. What if her being scared was a lie? It's a lie. Huh? The cake is a lie. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Why would she lie about something like that? I know you don't want to consider it, but look at this and tell me. Can you still deny the possibility? There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? The fuck is that? Had during my search, and I shaded in the top sheet with a pencil. And these are the words that appeared. Oh man, I've totally seen people do that on detective shows. Is this the ultimate detective? It's yeah. Sketch over the yeah. Paper and you can see <laughs> words. When I saw that, I, I, was like, I got Holy it. Crap. I better make sure I rip the paper out before I use it from now on. It's a pretty old-fashioned technique, but even the classics can be surprisingly useful sometimes. Look at this fucking Mardo in the side. I found the notepad <laughs> in Makoto's room. <laughs> 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 huh? Which means, only someone who had been in Makoto's room before the incident could have written it. Then either it was Makoto who lived there, or Sayaka who switched rooms for a single night. So, Makoto, did you write this? No, I didn't. But, of course you didn't. Because the note also bears a perfectly legible signature. Sayaka's Do we have signature. handwriting to compare it to? <laughs> then, that note... Sayaka wrote it? But, but why? Why would she write that? The note was likely her way of getting in touch with a certain someone. She must have slid it under their door to let them know she wanted to meet with them in secret. If you got an invitation like that from the ultimate pop sensation... You don't even like 3D women. What the fuck are you talking about, Hampton? Man? <laughs> of course, I'm only into two well, I'm too so good at this. I'm too smart. But can we be sure anyone even got this note? And honestly, even if they did, I do not think they are at all involved in what happened. Huh? What makes you say that? <laughs> Would you like to hear what I have to say? No. Well then, pay attention. Sayaka and Makoto switched rooms, correct? But in the note, the place they were asked to come to, it specifically says, my room. I see. So if someone read that note, then they would have gone to Sayaka's room. Wow, I go crazy. The room that Makoto was staying in. No, Same place, that. yeah. The nameplates on Mai and Sayaka's rooms got switched. They got... switched? That's right. The nameplates got switched, just like the rooms themselves. As a result, the nameplate on Sayaka's room actually had Makoto's name. And the nameplate on Makoto's room had Sayaka's. So what you're saying is, the room Sayaka was staying in was actually marked as her room. The Don't give me those eyes, bro. Someone did yeah. do what the note said. They would end you up at Makoto's no, room where Sayaka was. <laughs> I will they fucking kill you. To each other, <laughs> so switching the nameplates would be no problem. And the one who switched just, the names was... Just come over and we'll, we'll find out. It wasn't you, right, Makoto? Right? Okay, then who did it? There's only one person who could have switched the nameplates. The only other person who knew we had switched rooms. Uh, what the fuck is he? Me and Sayaka oh. were the only ones who ever knew about us switching rooms. So the only other person besides me who would even know to switch the name. Or maybe it was like a Sayaka. fucking a house thing, like a fucking teddy bear shit did that, just so it was accurate. I don't know. 
You can also infer as much from her note. There's something I want to talk to you about. Just us two. In five minutes, come see me in my room. Check the nameplates to make sure you don't get the wrong room, okay? Oh. She specifically tells the reader to check the nameplate. She would only have written. And why the fuck did she need to switch rooms if she knew she was gonna switch the nameplates? <laughs> why? It's so dumb. She switched them in the first place. She wanted someone to come to the room she was in and also hide the fact that it was Makoto's room. It seems like she was trying to kill someone, I don't know. Inviting someone to your room, but not telling them you've switched rooms. Why would anyone do that? To understand that, we first need to understand what happened after she invited the person into the room. That's where the answer lies. What happened then was probably whoever she invited over came in and attacked her we figured it out we know who did it whoever she invited over is the oh, oh yeah who did who did she invite over it is, you goddamn idiot <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying uh, with her killer there in the room yes perhaps the answer to our previous it's very entertaining watching you not just that go off over struggle. things yeah <laughs> my dad's gonna be home in a little bit so i don't think go off as much for right, right, right. he was like no, he knew I was. He asked me to stop being as loud when I when he went to bed. I was like, "Oh, I didn't know I was being so loud." Yes, I think you're right. Then Talking about how these fucking stupid people are. I'm so much better at fight, figuring right? this stuff out, and I'm a dumbass. That reminds me, there was a replica sword at the murder scene. Was that perhaps used during the fight? Oh yeah. I mean, there's no blood on it, but the, the gold was off. Sword. Sayaka suggested I should hold on to it. I thought it might come in handy if I had to defend myself. It seems pretty likely that the killer used it to break Sayaka's right wrist. Look at how baby he is. He's a little baby. Man. Possibly know that's what broke her wrist. No baby man. The reason I know Sayaka's wrist was broken with a fake sword is because when you look at her wrist, there is no doubt. Cold. Oh. Yeah, there is. You have to do is take a good look at her broken wrist. Oh yeah, everyone, just clear. just pull up your image in your head of her broken wrist that you have on file. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen. Oh, you mean that one? There's something glittering. Yeah, there. that image that's in all of our collective heads that we can just like put up like a fucking st like a static image. <laughs> I think Telepathy. I think <laughs> that there's like a hologram thing in the middle. Yeah. Is, for evidence. Is that gold? Yeah, I think they kind of do that in like uh, the like the little VR demo that they did that I tried out. It sure is. Specifically, the gold coating from the replica. How do you sword. break your wrist on a sword? You barely have to touch that stuff, and it'll stick right to you. Oh, I guess it just has to hit you in the wrong place. And there's some on her wrist because I got it. Because she got hit with a sword uh, right there on her wrist. I, I'm just, the only way that I was thinking of that happening was she just tried to grab so the sword and she just grabbed it so wrong that her wrist snapped. Jeez. <laughs> All right, then it's about time to solve this. I, lo I love his go crazy, go stupid because he's just smiling like humbly. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he what? just has a faint smile and he's going. Like, <laughs> Happens in my room. I'm gonna let the circus death. That's what we need to make clear. <laughs> it's a bit more to learn about. What in Makoto's no. room stays in Makoto's room. Do 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 Okay. Do 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 When the fighting broke out, the culprit grabbed the sword. And that's when the first blow was dealt. A sword-based sneak attack. <laughs> no, that's wrong. Wait, Leo, what are you doing? I had to go for a second. Yeah, yeah, I just had to. I just had to get through that part. I don't oh. think the fight started with the sword. All right, so now we'll wait. Oh, I tell you what, I want what I really, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want. What you really, really want? I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna really, really, really want a zig zig ah. Holy shit, one of my friends actually managed to get a perfectly preserved pot. 
high in Fallout 76? I'm gonna go get a drink of water, I'll be right back. Fucking insane RNG. Oh, this is uh, Death Stranding. I would have guessed it here, but seeing the monster energy would have sealed it. Mass Effect, but I don't know which Mass Effect. Alright, I'm back. Oh, is this Outer Wilds? Sorry, I'm playing. You're good. I found a uh, screenshot based uh, portal. Nice. That lets you play the previous days, and I'm just like. I like when I get it in one. How are you? Oh, what the fuck is Ooh. this? Hello. 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 How are you? <laughs> Doing good. Can you hear me when I talk? This, this can't be Sekiro. I'm gonna assume that's a no. Hmm? Exactly. Okay, I gotta switch. Okay. My computer is more accepting of when I am flying. Yeah, it's like a little less muffled. I forgot your job. Oh shit, is this Nair? What? I'm. I found a video game based Wordle clone. Oh, they also got a few words. What the fuck is this? Hi, Metacritic. PS4. Oh! What's going on? Oh, shit. the original. Oh! You know, I like how your, um, the thingy says Dang and Rafa and Ray in the Brain. Yeah. In the Brain. <laughs> My mom finished Stray, or she finished her boyfriend, and steps on they finished Stray, and she watched them. Oh, and nice. She apparently watched them play for a lot of it, and she cried at the end. Oh. Anyone who's playing Stray, just know that it made my mom cry. <laughs> Also, my mom's a book clean today. <laughs> All right, you what the hell is this? Is this? Where is it?
foiled. I know what this one is. Hello there. Hello. Oh, you're so much clearer on me. <laughs> oh, the, uh... Alright, second. Boom. No, give me one second. Give me one second, please. All right, one sec. <laughs> I just need to get in my. Oh shit! What did I do? <laughs> I just turned up my volume all the way. Oh. I need help. <laughs> Look at that little smile. Look at that boy. <laughs> that boy. Here comes the boy. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead. Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you are going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it'd be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it. So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere. Then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her too. Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and finished it. Hell, I love you, but I don't think Sayaka That's dumb. <laughs> what? How the hell can you not think that? Is this the witness? Because she never held the sword. Bro, look at her face. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. God damn it, I was the fucking witness. Part of her body that shows she never used the sword. If she wants to use the sword, which part of your body would have to touch it? Boom. I thought it said her pee and then shut the bottom. <laughs> The palms of her hands were perfectly clean, so I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? The gold would be on it! Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch so much it. What's the point of having it? If you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already oh, come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm up? No, Toko. No, that's not it at all. There's no way it's say I gotta wash the gold off her hands because... There's a certain regulation that talks about what happens to the bathrooms at nighttime. Um, she's afraid of water. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time <laughs> of death this was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts oh. off at nighttime, right? Oh, oh so that's what all these pointless fucking rules are about. Oh, go stinky! She hasn't taken a shower for several days. Oh. I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the I don't sheath fucking the know. Knife was the one who damaged the sheath would have to be the one without the sword. She had the kitchen knife? 
But yeah, we already said that this. the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. I think Sayoko was planning on killing someone. First was... But then they, they, they did it. That's oblivion. I recognize oblivion now do you understand? anywhere. She wasn't a blameless victim in this. Yeah, she, yeah, she, no, did the, she no, wanted no, to no. kill someone. That's why she invited them over. That's why she switched rooms. She'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wait, no, what? not him. God damn it. Took the knife I keep agreeing with you. Then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. Yeah, fuck. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation, indeed. Oh, this is super These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? On me? That would also explain why she would switch the nameplates. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, oh, instead of her room, that would implicate called? Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out <laughs> while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Naegi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. Damn. My, li my little baby twinkle. <laughs> Makoto, you're a bitch. <laughs> no, Makoto, Makoto's his bitch. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same himself thing, pardon? which is why yeah, out of yeah, all of us, yeah, she Makoto, asked him to switch rooms. Bottom. Come here. <laughs> <I'm so sorry. laughs> Plus, he do be she about was though. the ultimate pop sensation. What? Who? Who? What? Baby boy. Who's the bottom? <laughs> what? You. A totally forgettable oh. kid. Or a national superstar. Uh, so. What are you more likely to believe? Boy, then you're saying <laughs> she had this all I'm planned. Bad. Okay, okay, it's Yakuza Kiwami. <laughs> Holy shit! No, it's got zero. But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she'd planned to murder. Just hold on! Oh, that can't be true! Because... Because... Well, Hey, hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument. You're being super boring right now. Come on, hurry up and decide who did it. Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh, yeah. We gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto, right now you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is, is it really all over? Obviously, I'm committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. Yeah, there what the fuck? Uh, right? Hello? No, that's wrong. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, what the fuck does that number even mean? There still might be one clue left. Hold on, I need to, sh I need to shut the door because my dog entered my room. Oh no, he's coming. I'm back. Hello? Oh, what the fuck is Wait, this? What, what did you say? <laughs> the dying message. 
She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? You're fucking idiot. One zero three seven. One one zero three seven. There must no be way, something about the killer hidden in there. Well, before we get too far into that, I need to ask: Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? There's no question that Sayaka wrote that message. I can prove it. Her favorite moment. No. Her left <laughs> I keep, I keep thinking he's saying a gun. <laughs> a gun. That could only be a gun. That no. Like a bullet. <laughs> I see. If you playing so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Playing Russian roulette, obviously. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. Okay, it's dark souls. What the heck do those numbers yeah, mean? One one zero three seven. seven. What does it mean? I don't know. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? <laughs> you should know all about numbers and shit. N no, that's not. Yes. yes oh, oh, she's a quirky little programmer. Meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. They're not numbers. Oh, yeah. It looks like. Huh? What? What? <laughs> no, Me? it's just a look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Shit. Let me oh, look at it. These first two, one, one, look less like two numbers. Hold on, call this me. Don't. I'm. I'm gonna figure this out. I'm okay. gonna fucking figure this out. Here you go. Now's your chance to figure it out. Now's your chance. Uh, uh, it looks like what? What fucking letter is two lines? Um, you got this. I believe in you. Um, uh, have fun. Um, we know we, all, we, know we will. Oh, <laughs> is that is it an N? I see the it's like a line, or is it just mm. the glass? I can't tell. Can so is the first one supposed to be an N? Can someone tell me that? Um, uh, yes, okay, because I couldn't tell if that was just like a line in the glass just because I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> Is it like it's fucking? I don't know. I'll give you. Would you like a small hint? Huh? I mean, the one is obvious, like the, oh, oh, the three oh, oh, oh. has to be in. Oh, this is my right? voice. Oh, this is my voice. Oh, this is my voice. Oh no no, uh, uh, skipper, skipper, oh, skipper, oh, we're, oh, skipper. Skipper, oh, we're not oh, doing that. We're not doing that. Skipper, it's what? just. We're, 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 that's not yeah, what we're, we're just we're just figuring. Yeah. Ah, this, no hold on. I don't think we're voice acting right now at all. Okay. Yeah, no, it's the trial. We don't need to unless there's like okay. flashbacks. Yeah, just, okay. This is fucking. So. The three should be an E, right? Someone say yes. Oh, uh. Perhaps. Yeah. Okay. I mean, what? 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 Is the last one an L? What's going on? What? A small hint. No, no sure. Right. Consider looking at the puzzle from a different perspective. A different angle. Fuck. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe oh, he right. has figured it out, ladies the and gentlemen. I said that if it was him, I'd leave. So, so. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Get back here, you coward! I'm so upset. <laughs> okay. Whoa! You might have finally just said something. Ladies and gentlemen, one, one, zero, three, three seven. Fuck me. Our little gray cells are really <laughs> By the way, now. I should mention that this puzzle is actually a lot harder in Japan because Leon's not a common English name in Japan. Yeah. Mm. And also the fact that she just straight up wrote it in English, so... <laughs> okay, the thing is... Even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. Oh, get it? Because she did it, that's why she did it at the English, she must have done it upside down, oh. Yeah. Because she was dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay, but also Leon kind of did it in self defense, so Yeah. The legal literally did it. What you think that matters here? <laughs> it matters in my heart of how much <laughs> how I feel about him. Well, your heart is gonna save him. So. Well, well he's gonna fucking die, die but he's still that so deep good. into your heart. I'm gonna it's never you deep into my heart. It's no use. I just don't know. Next, I'm gonna fall in love with Monica <laughs> just to piss you off. <laughs> Don't you do that? He's my husband. <laughs> He's mine. Honey, I'm gonna date him. My walls. <laughs> I'm gonna date him. Rotate it. I, I have a new. I think fictional boyfriend. It's his. <laughs> 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 I'm replacing Leon. It's mine. <laughs> Maybe I see something. Oh my god! Homewrecker. Now I see. <laughs> she wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right onto who did it. So, whose name did she write? Sayaka's dying message reveals the real killer's name. If you turn her message 180 degrees, it should become crystal clear. This is, a, this is legal legends, isn't it? <laughs> Sayaka, click it, it's yourself. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> If you haven't figured it out yet, you're stupid. <laughs> no, I figured it out. I'm sad. I'm talking. I'm just talking to the people watching. Fuck. I'm gonna cry, man. Stop opening the door! Hold on one second. He's coming to kill you. Okay, this is World of Warcraft. <laughs> Oh, I just realized it's thundering outside. That's why Fizz wants to be in my room. Oh yeah, it was stolen. Yeah. Turn the message around. It becomes the letters L E O N. I like how when I saw the murder scene, I immediately saw that. Or more accurate, Leon. The first one's supposed to be like. What are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. It's just a bunch of random squiggles that happen to look like my name. No, it's not random at all. She There's wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down as it were. And as a result, oh, this is when you look at it standing hunter. in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Well, that's pretty tricky. Like one hell of a stretch to me. Leon, why don't you just say? You can't just go and say shit like that. Why don't you? Why don't you just fucking say some shit like, "Yeah, she tried to kill me." <laughs> if you're not she tried to fucking killer, kill me. Why did you that try to destroy matter. the evidence? If you kill someone, you're gonna die. Yeah. Yeah. There is no self-defense here. I also, but that makes sense. I was I was gonna say it earlier that that's why he used the fucking hair shit. It's because he's ginger. Everyone's gonna know it's him. Yeah. I, I didn't I didn't want to say that because I didn't want it to be true. <laughs> the evidence that Leon tried to get rid of. Is that thing I found the guy from the incinerator, right? Oh, sweet. That's what you get, Leon, for dyeing your hair red. <laughs> oh, is he, did he really dye his hair red or is he just ginger? No, I think I think yeah, he, I think he's naturally ginger, but he was just forced to shave his head for um mm -hmm. for a baseball. Yeah, when you shave your head, your hair looks darker. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cuz it's the roots that show up more and the roots are naturally darker. As the killer they must have gotten some of her blood on them. Only on one tiny part of your sleeve. Oh, never mind. But one piece burned out and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right? But is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is. Yeah, I mean. Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. 
that, that's right. There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. The fucking you your name. You, what? The answers to all the yeah. riddles are right here. Yeah. Yeah, the name. So. The burn remains in the button up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Closely at how the shirt was disposed of, we should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, that's a bit you wouldn't sus. be able what to hit the that? switch to turn it on either. You need the key to get in, and the one with the key was the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> yeah, no, right. that's wrong. There was oh, some other way to use the incinerator without being the only one on cleaning duty. Yeah. And that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. <laughs> the key to the trash room. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. No, that's wrong. It's the Battle Royale that I don't play. Apex. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, oh. could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but, uh... But how would you use it? The killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way, which was... Throw it! Divine with it. <laughs> yeah. Killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch. Uh, divining is the like ball the act of like using a crystal ball. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Going through that, through a gap in the gate. Remember what you said before? Oh, I know those trees anywhere. That's Katamari Damacy. <laughs> now we need you, Skipper. <laughs> Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on! Very strange. I'm quite certain it was off last time I was down here. Perhaps it was the work of a fairy. Kifumi had the key. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they'd gotten the incinerator going, yeah, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire. If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? Okay. That, that's right! There's no oh, way it's possible. It's possible. <laughs> Idiot. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... <laughs> It wouldn't have been much of a challenge at all for the killer because the ultimate baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? Your name is written by her. It would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. 
These goddamn shipper <laughs> brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! I'm just you still sorry. won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. Yeah, is she like and into you? Why is she making you do this shit? Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, Uh, she this? said earlier, like, this is to make sure that, like, you know, Makoto gets what happened. Yeah. Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. The closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? No. Oh, that's four. Oh, here we go. Now we can vibe. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck is this shit? We're forming the closing argument. And basically what we do is we add panels to a comic. Uh, like in the correct order. Look at that fucking craziness. So My question is what the fuck was Sayaka's plan here? Oh well, yeah, who's gonna tell this other dude? Oh yeah, let's switch her names. All will be revealed. All will what? be revealed. But she tried to <laughs> frame him. That's such a bitch move, Jesus. <laughs> She's trying to frame him, that sucks. Mmm. Poor little baby boy Makoto got framed. Poor little baby boy. No. <laughs> 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 Let's wait till we get to V3's um, closing argument music. It is my fucking favorite. It is such a bop. It it do, but it's so good. It's a vibe. Here's exactly what happened. You don't think that happened. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night, the killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I'd put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Oh. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. That's partner. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. He did. She did. <laughs> What? But with what? the strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. 
to keep the killer from noticing. She wrote it on the wall behind I can't hear you, Nick. Nick, what did you say? That gray guy right there, that's Leon. He's looking a bit crazy, huh? I thought you said that. I thought you said Neo. <laughs> I really thought you, said, you definitely said Neo. I said Neo looking a bit crazy there, right? I'm like, which one is Neo? What are you talking about? Oh my god, I dumb that Skyrim that's been Skyrim the entire time. I'm dumb. First, they took off I'm their shirt, awake. which was covered in their victim's blood. I don't know if you describe it as a victim. Then they took the lint roller in my room yeah, and cleaned real. up the entire area. They wanted to make Look sure they right had any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. The Battle Royale no one plays. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, That'd be an impossible throw, but the killer had the confidence to take a shot. Dog, and that's baseball. because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with a sigh of relief. I don't think he's nuts. They're making him look nuts, but he part of it said started in self-defense. It nah, started that way. I think that's what the black and I think that's what the black in the comics just look like. No, that's yeah. That's the black and always looks fucking crazy. <laughs> I keep thinking you're saying that's Neo. I was like, you said that that's Neo's face. That's your face right there. They thrown into the fire, burnt away, and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. We'll see you later, Neo. No, everybody knows what I'm talking about. Isn't that right? Oh, hey, get the. Oh, I, get the fun, I get to say the fun line soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I, I, I don't care if those lines are voiced. It I'm saying no. that hero simply forgot his and crystal ball the in the thing. laundry room. <laughs> you went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Object? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object! I object! I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch Stupid. of stupid theories! You need evidence! Yeah, that's another fucking memes. Without Give evidence, me my it's all bullshit! It's bullshit. <laughs> I refuse to acknowledge it! He sounded right. sus. I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I have the evidence? Your first bullet time battle is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? No. What the it's basically a rhythm game. Pull that evidence out of your ass. ass. My first clue, my first clue that I thought of. Uh, <laughs> holy shit, I haven't thought about gone home in Instead, about 10 they years. They must have used something that belonged to them. They used something of their own to remove the screws. Could it have been... I refuse to ignore stupid! You're stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid,
That is a broad moment. I mean, look at, look at him right there. You kidding me? Can we all agree that this doesn't hurt? Not a chance! Yeah, this is a chance. Hell no! Stupid! But okay, at least he, he did it so I can look at him longer. Because now we have to look at him. Shut up! Where's your brother? Oh, you know you can shut up. Okay. Are you kidding me? Another game I haven't thought about in years. Fucking not a braid. chance. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. Final strike. Where's your proof? Do a two on Neo. You should prove it. You should prove it. Oh, that's control. The, uh, the, the screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove them. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh, oh yeah. shit, handy pants. I'm pretty sure the tool kits we got each had one inside. <laughs> that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. Right, I would like to call the out this fucking in my room website for cheating. Never been used. So the one the I was on is uh, clearly Minecraft. They thought they but were the first two screenshots were very clearly modded Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, 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 stupid! <laughs> it had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! stupid, stupid. It's <laughs> your toolkit. If I'm right about this, then the screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Huh? And if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now: I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. I lost it. Stupid. <laughs> stupid. He's trying to blow. <laughs> he is psyching out right now. Oh, oh my god! Stupid, stupid! Yo, these edibles ain't. So <laughs> okay, hold well, on, we have to wait for Iron Up. Wow, Leon took some bad edibles. <laughs> these edibles ain't shit. <laughs> these edibles ain't shit. <laughs> These animals are stupid. Anything <laughs> 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 about fucking Metroid Prime? <gasps> oh, what the fuck is this called? Faster than light or FTL? Uh oh. Is this Fallout 1? Stop fucking Brotherhood of Seal. Welcome back. Wait. Oh. This is Diablo 2 then. Um. Look at that handsome man right there. Oh, what? <laughs> I forgot I wasn't muted. <laughs> sure! <laughs> then it would seem we are finished here. Already on main! <laughs> shut, shut, shut. <laughs> on main? Couldn't be. Transistor! He's dead. He's fucking dead. Oh, he's not dead yet. Hey! hey He's, he's, he's gonna be- A for ah. Uh. A for ah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm, I'm oh, scared. Don't die. Well, I just want to let you know, my virtual boyfriend is dying, which means I'm gonna have to take a new one. <laughs> True. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. 
You all have a lever. Yeah, it's still the. Look at, look at the crazy go stupid for Monokuma. He's going Yes, can you do the crazy go stupid for that? Please, just, just do some content with that. Un momento, por favor. What? Suki so just fucking exploded. <laughs> can, you, can you try that again? <laughs> Man. You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Are you okay, Monaco? To remind you all. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> what the heck? It sounded, it sounded like a fucking FNAF jump scare. Did it, did it. it sounded like FNAF 2 jump scare. <laughs> no, make them hate you more. Okay, oh, then let's oh get dear viewers of Cordix Channel. <laughs> Apologies. I have not yet begun to go crazy. <laughs> go crazy, go stupid. Who will be chosen as the black end? Will I will make over the right act like hell and be dreadfully wrong one. As you know, Corn YouTube chapter channel. two. Wait, is chapter two like they're in the same game or is it? Yes, it's the same game. Is that uh, like Monopoly? <laughs> there, there are six chapters in every game. Jesus Christ! Wait, I should yeah. wait chapter for chapter wait. three. When is yeah, the gay? You gotta wait for V3 to read, read 7 million hours. No, this when is, is the gay? You have to tell me. You have to tell me when Black. is the gay. When is the gay in chapter 2? Right next to the next chapter on this one. We, can, we gotta get there. Oh, we gotta get there. Has both gay and gender. Gay and oh. gender. Oh, finally, we have gender. <laughs> what? Oh! Looks like you got it right on the money. The blackened in this case, the one who killed Sayaka, was none other than Leon Kawada. Why did I immediately see him and be like, I want to date? Him? I mean, that's this, it happens. <laughs> what do you mean? It? No, no, Neil. What does that mean? It, it'd be like that. How? What, how does it be like that? <laughs> I, I need you to explain it to me. Oh, hold on. I don't know. Maybe it's a love at first sight, but for fictional characters. A love at first sight for a murderer. Hold on. I know, but listen. This is the Dead by Daylight community you're talking to. <laughs> An intuition of some don't type. Get attached. <laughs> Fuck, you're already attached. Exactly. That's what rule, happened. Rule three. Fuck. <laughs> rule three. Everybody dies. I will, I will fuck. No, I will well, fuck. 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 Sorry, fuck. You cannot tell me to not fuck. Welcome to Dongon Wampa, where you can't have a favorite character because they'll all die. And if you do have a favorite character that doesn't die, you're very lucky. I got instantly unlucky. Yeah, you see what I mean? <laughs> well, uh, you haven't died yet, Neo. True. <laughs> But I don't believe it. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. What the hell is wrong? Oh. <laughs> Man, you just came. cut off. No, but you cut off. You're just like, what the hell? It and you just okay. left. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, I mean, facts. It was killer be killed, flower be killed. <laughs> Flower oh, ass motherfucker. It was That's why down here it's killer be killed. Is this Monokuma's voice or is it Flowey's? You'll never know. <laughs> Are they the same character? <laughs> so Are they the same why? same character? Oh no. First. None of you are any different! None of you are any different! One wrong step and you'd be the one standing here! I mean, he's kind of true. It's kind of true. It was a it was complete chance that I wound up like this! 
I was just, <laughs> just unlucky. Unlucky. That's all. That's all. You're still gonna die. But... Hey, come on! Hey, come on! You expect me to just accept my death? Yeah, basically. Everything's become clear. The decision we made was right after all. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with is really the truth, then that truth is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind... Did somebody say the mastermind? Video. Complete global despair. <laughs> Wesker, no! Makoto! <laughs> what? Who is that? Who's that boy? <laughs> Who are you? Speak to me. The mastermind. <laughs> I mean Makoto. Who? <laughs> My name is Albert Wesker. Albert, who is what? I shall release Ouroboros! <laughs> Sounds like a bad shaving cream. <laughs> I'll kill you quickly. If I was her and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. And that was the Resident Evil f the Resident Evil bit, folks. It's first. <laughs> My audience has no idea. Which, oh, yeah, have, you, have, you, have you uploaded anything yet, Corey? Yeah, I uploaded one video, but I'm trying to like sort it all out, you know. And oh no. Like, am, am, am I out there already, man? Yeah, you are. Oh no, I'm not gonna find that. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for people to find me. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Also, Alpine, you're needed. Uh, Alpine, are you okay? Speak to us. It says that Alpine is speaking. Oh, it is? Oh, I, yes, oh. I totally forgot I was... Oh, forgive me. You're okay. Uh, I um, will not forgive you. <laughs> I will never forgive you. I for forgot this. I was uh, substituting for TJ. Yeah, Whoops. yeah. Sure. Um, now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. <laughs> I can't afford to be stuck in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else. Her dreams, her friends. You have to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I... Oh, Alpine's muted, so... It's alright, I'm, I'm here. Oh, okay. I'm here. I did whatever it took to reach that dream. Oh my god! What now? I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. She murdered somebody. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So, when she said... He tried to murder somebody. She was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? <laughs> I, I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I could. <laughs> she fucking stalked you because you're a vulnerable baby bottom boy. <laughs> but here's the real question: If Sayako you know, died before she could write Leon's name on the bathroom wall. 
but we'd still be able to get Leon? I mean, with the with the incinerator thing, maybe. Because that's yeah, a pretty big clue. Ever let it get to that point. That would be like, yeah. Being like, guys, please, please. Yeah. I can't throw, a, I can't throw, throw shit with my noodle arms. What do you mean? I know I every, literally everything else is pointing to. <laughs> I can't throw things. I have no arms. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead, that's that. Unless it's Undertale. Just. Fucking <laughs> flowy ass. Death isn't an escape. Oh no. Boy, howdy! <laughs> the entertainment industry must sure be terrified. Huh? God, he's, he's so fucking hot. Holy shit. I will bonk you! Good. Oh, thank you. You're so cute. <gasps> Oh, I think we may have found a bigger freak than you. <laughs> it's impossible. I, I can, can be whatever you want, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can be whatever you want, baby. Please, drag me out of this. <laughs> I, I, I must get weirder. <laughs> <laughs> the xylophone ass. Goofy ala sound. Okay, a bomb. <laughs> Why, what are these sound effects for? <laughs> uh, it's me, traveling through the walls. Come on, Kyo Shinguchi. I'm not supposed to be here for two more games. <laughs> I mean... Come. To try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seems so nicely on the outside. What? 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 Hello? Monokuma, are you okay? I really do. Yep, yep. You're in utter despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. Your flag falls up again. <laughs> the stronger those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with that. This is all your fault. You have to be forced to do something like that. All of it. Everything. It's all your fault. Yeah, get it all out. Suddenly, in a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma. Ooh, I have a kill. <laughs> but. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. And then she proceeds to fucking toss me. <laughs> it just throws you across the room. <laughs> Her grip was like iron. Strong enough, I was sure it would leave a bruise. Calm <laughs> down. Oh fuck, my headpiece. Oh, what? If you really want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Ah, that was a close one. I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good walloping. Just, just avoided punishment, you did. Yes, indeed. Since you magnificent, you so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial. The blackened Leon Kawada will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? Punish? You mean execution? <laughs> execution? Wait a second! Wait, wait a second! <laughs> uh, 
I, I didn't have a choice. I, I had to kill her. You did uh, have a choice. That's it. Oh. Yeah. That's it. I, I was just protecting myself to hear the moment. It was self-defense. Is that okay? I'm about it to come clear. Of the moment. Telling you what your heart is. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use your very own toolkit? After she shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way, headed back to your own room, came back and used your own tool. You broke into the bathroom and killed her. Am I wrong? Do you understand? You had any number of chances to stop what you were doing. But you chose not to. Is it not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder already? So, that's why... No! That... That's not... Stop. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone, weren't you not? Not really. <laughs> we didn't want to be. <laughs> he killed your precious Sayaka. Do you understand? Again, not. I don't care. Sorry, I, sorry I'm gay. <laughs> I blame her, blame that hole. Because the one to blame is him! I have done nothing! Swaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
Punishment time! Goodbye. <laughs> oh boy! No! I'm gonna walk away. Copyright is a bitch. Here we go! No, no, we can't wait. You're ready for We're going our acapella. Leon has been yeah. found guilty. Time for the punishment! <laughs> He looks so handsome. <laughs> it's rave time. <laughs> Ooh, hey, this is my part. Oh, wait. I'm getting dragged. Oh, he's gonna die a terrible death. Yeah! You have no idea. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's full. Oh, oh, baseball dad. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that's not cute the 1,000 blows. That's what they called me in college. <laughs> I mean, at least it's... <laughs> mm. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 Ow, ow. You know, you know. <laughs> so the idol and the aspiring and the aspiring musician both died. That's way more baseballs than we, I thought I had. Oh, it was that in the budget. <laughs> yeah, I know. Holy not. shit, was that in the budget? Oh, we're fucked! Oh, Maybe Monokuma just went around wait, stealing. Wait, I'll just, I'll just steal Yasuhiro's crypto, it's all fine. No. <laughs> so how are we feeling? <laughs> I'm rejuvenating. <laughs> I need to get... Powerful! Hug! I, I'll I make sure to send you a bunch of Leon art if it makes you happy. <laughs> that might make me sad. I feel perked up. I feel refreshed. I feel awake. No, I want. I want you. Get, I, it's now gay hours officially. I want you. I'm feeling good. <laughs> a special kind of horny. <laughs> oh my! That is not how I'm feeling. That's from that is not how I am. Children's feeling. movie. Oh my God. Oh. It's a, I, the I, I, a cut line from Toxic Love in Fern Gully. <laughs> I want I'm Neo. Recorded. Neo, come come here. I am here. I want you. Me. Me for murder. <laughs> am, shut the fuck up. Stay <laughs> with my girlfriend, please. What we saw. Do you want to do you want to make out? <laughs> Sure. I sort of got if this is re like recorded, you're just gonna see me get more tired and more gay very gradually. <laughs> We're almost done, don't worry. Okay. That was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, what else could we call it? Extreme! Woohoo! Extreme! Adrenaline's pumping right out of control! Adrenaline! Oh, yeah. Hit the soul! Something, something, Cody Rhodes! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> Skipper! <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I can't take it. Uh, I can't take this anymore. Do we really have to keep doing this? No, I no. just can't take it. Well? Well, hey, if you don't like it. <laughs> All you gotta do is swear to cut all ties to the outside world. And accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board with that. 
Damn you! Man! Fuck you! Why the fuck are you doing all of this evil shit to us? What the heck? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. So I, need, I need to update. I need to up my uh, membership to the Court of Owls. Anyway. <laughs> In this case, a dark, awful secret society type of bear! Well... Skipper. Skipper is like dead. me! You're such a grueling ordeal! Hey, um... It seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense to something that doesn't make sense! That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I don't think that it's possible. Um, I, uh, I don't think what you're saying and what I'm saying quite fit together. <laughs> shit. You piece of shit. I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass! Uh, into the ground. <laughs> Punctuation is important. <laughs> <laughs> you must really hate me to get so angry. Huh. No, I'm in love with you. What was that about pounding ass? <laughs> you can pound my ass. Save that for chapter two. <laughs> no. I understand. Look, look. I know your little secret, and I'm cool with it. We're What's my here, little baby. secret? What's my I'm secret? Or not. No, <laughs> tell me what my secret is. <laughs> Your secret is January 30th, 2268. Interesting. <laughs> I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> I mean, I January 30th is my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but 2268, I don't think I'm gonna be alive. <laughs> oh, you will be. Oh god, I really hope I'm not alive by then. I hate being alive. <laughs> but if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. <laughs> what happened, happened because more than one of you decided to get out. You wanted to get out. Right. No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free from the outside world. You're to blame. Of course, you can't cut free of the outside world. Being trapped in this insane place. Really, it's not that different from college. <laughs> hmm, you're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure you, once you learn all the mysteries of the school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't it so wonderful how we get to live here forever? What does this mean? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper like yeah, meaning hidden in there. Just like before. Thrills, chills, kills! Wait, I have a bit for this. Oh boy. <laughs> Bring back an old bit. <laughs> no. Anyway, let's get to the Blackens punishment. <laughs> That's what everyone's waiting for after all. What the fuck? Hey. Flashback voice. That's so sad. When you say everyone, who exactly are you referring to? <laughs> you heard that, did you? <laughs> uh, 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 sorry, I said everything I gotta say. Bye! <laughs> I need to 
need to save some of the fun for later. <laughs> Just like that, he was gone. He left us there, overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Oh, by the way, my dad's going to work tomorrow, so I can be nuts if we want to get some. Are y'all busy tomorrow? Uh, I have college uh, during the morning, but you may. I'll be asleep during the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can do some stray and maybe infect you with some paradise killer worms. Oh, we could do some paradise killer in the in the midday. Could uh, yeah, yeah, paradise killer in the midday would be fun. Oh, yeah, there and then that right. way we can make more room. I mean, I have to to being an intermission day. I mean, I, have I mean, yeah, that's what I was planning to do. Tomorrow is an intermission day, well, and it's a... Day. Skip what time? Day. Oh, okay. Skip what time? Hmm? What time do you get off of school? Like, 4.35? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What the fuck kind of school do you go to? <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's a... And remember, it's like an hour uh, behind I, us, because we're in Eastern Time, and I think Skipper is an hour behind from our time zone. Time. Yeah, yeah. Behind or ahead? Behind. Central Time. So, yeah. is it... So, we, we are an hour ahead of Skipper. So, for us, 4.30 would be 5.30. So, it's going to be even later. Yep. Great. <laughs> <Right. laughs> We will see the hot people, don't okay. worry. Okay, <laughs> no, I just want to play Stray, and I know Skip wanted to watch Stray, and TJ wanted to watch Stray. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to do an hour of Stray and an hour of Paradise Killer. That should work. Yeah, he got to, like, Doc, but he hasn't, like, escaped with Doc yet. Uh, okay. He just, Even he after just he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, you no. Died. It wasn't that what? long, I think. Wait, what, Ness? <laughs> they, they, they were waiting forever, so they starved to death. <laughs> Everyone just lost their sense of time. So what the fuck we were all else? too scared. You still gotta murder people. Scared of being alone. I mean, you don't have to kill people, you just should kill people. Oh, you're just having problems. <sighs> No one even tried to speak. Their faces were stone, their voices dead. But it was in that moment. Just a second. Makoto, can I talk to you for a second? I I want to I want you. She, oh. <laughs> oh. she moved in close and whispered into my ear. Oh. You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Before we head back, I love you. There's something I want to talk to you about. What? I'll tell you what you want, what you really, really want. I want to tell you what I want, what you really, really want. I'll stay. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna. I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig. Ah. Uh. Doing an extended intermission. Everyone gets to do intermission. <laughs> I want to do intermission. You're getting stray. Oh. Am I? Am I? Am, is that all I am to you? <laughs> the brain worms. The brain worms cultural exchange will happen. <laughs> I'm surprised you figured it out. Listen. I told you before the class trial started. You had to figure out the mystery of this case yourself. Yeah, oh, Wendy, you're still doing Portal tonight. It's just that, like, during the midday uh, mass, and Iredot will be doing, like, Stray and Paradise Killer. Oh, I mean, I kind of understand if she's the fucking detective, why they, she doesn't want to say what her shit is, because then everyone's just going to fucking kill her. Mm. I, I, I think we meant, like, yeah, tomorrow. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, you're the detective one? I'm gonna kill you so you don't figure out that I killed someone. For once, it's before midnight. <laughs> yeah. It's five minutes to midnight, man. <laughs> five minutes till midnight. Five minutes till midnight. Oh my god. 
thought never even crossed. Five minutes. Midnight. It's <laughs> Saya come in to double cross you. That's a fact that you can never change. But even till the very end, she wasn't sure of her decision. That's why. Gonna wait till the midnight hour. <laughs> As she yeah, was okay. dying, she was thinking of you. However, even if you can't ask her, you can infer it, don't you think? Her final thought was how she could protect you. What? So... The fact that she used her, her last ounce of energy to leave her dying message proves it. If she didn't care what happened to you, she never would have left that message. Yeah, maybe. Certainly. That's certainly one possibility. But I don't think that's what it was. Anyway. She was uncertain. She wasn't sure she could kill someone or deceive you. Which is why her plan failed. Her hesitation attracted failure. Right. It's almost ironic when you think about it. Because you're the kind of person who can overcome this. Because you can move past the deaths of your friends, Sayaka and Leon, and keep moving forward. Correct. Without oh, someone like that, the friend. others would never be able to break through. <laughs> yeah, when you on your. <laughs> <laughs> well, those idiots, not my friend, especially Sayaka. Oh shit. And Hifumi. <laughs> Hifumi's no one's friend. <laughs> Who the fuck is that again? The hamster man. <laughs> oh, yeah, he sucks. He's, but too, he's too horny to be allowed to live. Mm -hmm. he's, and don't worry, there's going to be even more horny. And you'll hope they'll die quickly. <laughs> the hamster man gets very horny. I thought, oh, I thought Gundam was a hamster man. <laughs> Do you all agree that he looks like a hamster, right? Yeah. Uh, I said my line. Sorry, <laughs> we got distracted. Who passed it, Des? That is. <laughs> no. I'm going to carry them with me the rest of my life. How could I possibly do pass something like that? Leon, Sayaka, I'll carry them with me forever. I'll carry their memory with me wherever I go. So instead of forgetting them, you're choosing the hard road. <laughs> well, I have high expectations for you. She said that. She revealed the smallest smile. Hey. By the way, I have to admit, I'm curious. How did you know I wanted to talk to you about Sayaka? Oh. Well. I'm psychic. Oh shit. Oh. Huh. We just we just stole her line. We are assuming her identity. <laughs> we have become Sayaka. <laughs> Hello, I'm Sayaka. <laughs> Why do you think my bathroom was stuck? Hey, Yuko, you want to do another impression I can do? Yeah. Hello, I'm Bianca Yat Togami. What the heck are you doing? Here, I can do another on it. Uh, I, Ishimaru. <laughs> and here, I can do another one. Uh, hey, it's me, Kazuichi Soto. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, come on. 
I need an exterminator. <laughs> These are just ravings of crazy people. Oh, you have it. When you see Kazuichi, man. <laughs> the simp. The overacting nope. will go magna. Let me see a picture. Okay. Oh, I will send you picture of Kazuichi. <laughs> everyone to send me a picture. Everyone send a picture. Taka, Taka dra drags on his outfit for being too, too garish. I got a picture on deck of Kazuichi all the time. <laughs> on deck, Jesus Christ. On deck. For real. I, I had already, I, I already had this queued up to send to you. I'm just gonna press the send button. Oh boy. <laughs> anyway, kidding. I have not gotten a single picture. What the fuck? Oh, never mind. Oh, I've seen this motherfucker. Oh, you have? <laughs> Fucker. Because, you know, when I was, like, a big editor, sometimes I would come across those edits a lot. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you would. Because, like, apparent, cause, like a lot of people say that, like, the Danganronpa editing community is, like, really fucking prevalent and good. Yeah. So a lot of the people are... Like, they follow edits, sometimes they post Dan Robert edits too. Yeah, yeah. Seen the fucking J Junko, whatever the fuck. Yeah, Junko. If, you know, she's literally like, die is so good, cool, but she's, <laughs> fucking, she's had so many goddamn edits, holy shit. Yeah, she's people, just one. people just really like her, but if she's you, fucking if, dead. <laughs> if you gave me a picture with like a million characters and you included all of the ones, that I had seen in this game, I would have probably picked out her as the ticket. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. People this really like her. Fucking guy, this fucking guy. Wait, Neo, <laughs> send me more pictures of the, if you're the ones you find hot. Also, I like how they talk oh, about- Oh, of Rantaro and Kirumi? Sure. <laughs> like, you about, like, I'm gonna keep my friends with me, Leon and Sayaka, and just like, Junko's just like, I- <laughs> I'm here, you know? <laughs> I'm still just lying dead in the gym. <laughs> I am dead. Oh look, I've been impaled. <laughs> oh look, I've been impaled. <laughs> wow. Would you get a look at that? I'm dead. <laughs> I didn't Chapter one. Who survive? The end. I, I didn't get a fucking picture. Twelve remaining students. To be continue. Right now. 